When I was hungry, you fed me. It's not only a much loved text in the Christian faith. Feeding the hungry is a sacred injunction in every religious faith. And if we're to be the first generation in history to achieve two great humanitarian goals, ending extreme poverty and getting every child into school and learning, then every single child must have the opportunity to access what is perhaps the most impactful and effective safety net to support children, healthy meals every day in school. In low and middle income countries, every dollar invested in school feeding yields $9 back in social returns as healthy and educated children become more productive adults. Yet since the start of the pandemic, more than 39 billion in-school meals have been missed and 379 million children have been suddenly deprived of the main and sometimes only meal of the day. A silent tragedy for children's nutrition that will come back to haunt us. But even before the pandemic, despite 388 million students receiving meals in 161 countries, 73 million of the most vulnerable girls and boys in 60 lower income countries were not being reached. To repair this damage, we need now to mobilize nearly $2 billion in international aid to restore access to school health and nutrition programs for those children by 2022 and to ensure the 73 million additional children who have been left out are now fed. We will need the support of the soon to be launched Global Coalition for School Feeding as it brings together all who can contribute and the new research consortium whose formation I applaud the London School for Hygiene and Tropical Medicine will be working with a dedicated task force under the Global Education Forum that I co-chair and it will map the current available global financing for health and munition programs and it will develop a financing and delivery plan so that instead of developing only some of the potential of some children in some countries, we nurture and feed all the potential of all children in all countries.